Welcome District 55 Toastmasters. Today, I'm here to talk to you about Facebook marketing for your Toastmasters Club. Now, I know some of you aren't the biggest fans of social media, but I can tell you that social media is the number one growing way to market anything. Your life, your story, your business, and your Toastmasters Club. So let's figure out how we can get you involved and engaged so that you can do positive things for your club using social media. The best part about it? It's free. Let's get started. There's a few things I want to cover in this video, although I do want to keep it relatively short. So I'll talk you through some of the processes that you're going to need to know in order to create a Facebook page for your club, to attract new members, and to make sure that your current members are engaged and enjoying the page as well. So the very first thing you have to do in order to start doing anything that remotely reflects marketing on Facebook is have a Facebook account. So if you haven't done that, you're going to need to go to www.facebook.com and create your own personal Facebook account. The very next thing that you're going to want to do is create an actual Facebook fan page. Now there's a difference between a fan page and a group. Lots of clubs have groups. Now the benefit of a group is that it's private. Only the people that you approve will be members of your group. Now that can be very special for a Toastmasters club. You can actually have a place to post videos of speeches so that your members can review, post comments, positive praise, critiques, and improve. The challenge is that because a group is private, it actually restricts the public from seeing what you're doing. So it doesn't actually serve to market your club and attract new members. Some clubs have a group and a fan page. It's a perfect way to go. The unique thing about a fan page is that it's viewable by the public. You can market it. You can share it on your own Facebook wall with your friends, and you can actually attract people that don't know you exist by allowing your members to spread the good word about your club. So after you've created your own personal Facebook account, you'll want to create your own club fan page. Once you create the fan page for your club, you're going to want to share that page, meaning all of the contacts that you have on Facebook, everyone that's in your email directory, as well as all the other members of your clubs and their Facebook friends and all of their email contacts, allow them to share the page and encourage their friends to like it. Now, what does that mean, like the page? Well, there's a little button on every fan page where you can click like. When somebody clicks like on a Facebook fan page, that means anytime an administrator for that page posts an update of any kind, it shows up in their newsfeed. So as long as you post compelling content, people will be able to see and track and follow what's going on in your club. Great way to share it with the public and great way to get people interested if they're not quite sure if they want to join Toastmasters yet. They can watch from afar without actually visiting, see that there's interesting people and fun things going on, and then maybe reach out and be willing to visit and then eventually join. It's a great way to get people more comfortable without putting hands on contact. Once everyone you know has liked your page, the next most important thing you can do is post fun content on at least a weekly basis. Now, when you post content on a weekly basis, what might you post? Let's think about it. What do you do every week or every other week or once a month, depending on your club? You have a club meeting. So once you publish your agenda, have your vice president of education take a picture, a screenshot, or scan in a copy of that agenda. Share that on your Facebook wall. That way, your friends and club members can share that with other people. They can see who's giving a speech. Make sure you put the titles of the speeches on the agenda. If something's funny or compelling or interesting, that may be the thing that provokes somebody to visit your club meeting. The more information, the better. Put it all on there and share it as a small image. The best way to do it if you have a Mac or a PC is to simply do a screen capture of a Word document. It makes a very small but yet very legible file and you can post that to Facebook with no size issues at all. So a PNG file is a great way to go. The other types of weekly content you can publish after you post your agenda and invite everybody and encourage all of your members to share that posting is after your meetings to take, be sure that your VP of PR takes a win posting of all your winners, your best speaker, your best evaluator, and your best table topics presenter. Ensure that your VP of PR is posting that hopefully on your website but also posting it to your Facebook wall. Allow people to see what's going on in your club and that people are being recognized and given positive reinforcement for the things they do well. Once that's posted to your wall, people can share those pictures, you can tag your club members in those photos, and the moment that you tag someone in a photo, 
it actually shares that picture and therefore a link to your Facebook fan page on their Facebook wall as well. So maybe you only have 35 Facebook friends. Maybe it's just the people in your club. Maybe you're just a VP of PR and the only reason you have Facebook is to help promote your club. That's fine. As long as you do the right things like tagging people in pictures and encouraging your members to like the page, share posts on their own Facebook wall, and secondly, and most importantly of all of that, have them check in in Facebook. Now, if you don't know what a check in is, send me an email. But have your members check in when they attend the Facebook meetings and say something like, at Toastmasters again for the week, just heard a great speech, or whatever catchy one liner they want to post about their experience at their club meeting that week, have them check in and it'll drive traffic to your club, which is very important. Other things that you can post on a weekly basis. Maybe it's sharing something from the Toastmasters website. Maybe it's sharing a tip or trick about public speaking. Maybe it's dispelling a myth about public speaking or what Toastmasters is all about. One of the things I posted on our very first Facebook posting for our club was I brought my husband as a guest and he came home and said, you know, I made it to my very first Toastmasters meeting, but I was really disappointed that I didn't get to toast anything. Believe it or not, that was one of the most liked comments for our Facebook page. Why? It's funny. Gets people thinking. Then they wonder to themselves, what is Toastmasters? What's it all about? They can click on the page, go to the information and about us section, and find links to the district webpage, the club webpage, and of course, Toastmasters.org. As long as they can find a connected chain of information to learn more about Toastmasters, they're going to get more engaged, they'll learn more about you, and eventually they'll land in a seat at one of your club meetings. So you publish weekly content so that people constantly get information to get to know you a little bit better. The next step two, 2.0 of Facebook marketing, would be to set a club event, whether that's an open house or a guest speaker, whatever you want to do that you would deem as special, then you want to create a Facebook event. This is getting a little more challenging for some beginner user, but we will actually be doing marketing workshops that will show you how to do each and every one of these things if you choose to attend. Just check out the district webpage or email me for details. Once you create the event, again, like your page, you share it, which Facebook will prompt you to do, with all of your contacts. Have your club members do the exact same thing. The easiest way to make that happen is to make every member of your club an admin, give them administrative privileges to that event. You make them a host. Then they get to share it, they get to invite people. The more people you invite, the better. People can RSVP for your event on Facebook and you'll have an idea in advance of how many guests you plan to have. Great way to plan ahead for food or beverages or special party gifts or first timer ribbons, whatever you wanna do for your open house or your speech craft, or your youth leadership, whatever event you're going to do to promo your club. A debate off or a table topics contest, doesn't matter. Any event will do as long as people are excited about it and they share it. After that, if you want to take it to the next highest level, if you really want to cash in on Facebook marketing, you create a small budget, whether that's out of your club dues, or if you really want to take advantage and get into the district's pocket, as some Toastmasters like to do, can't send me an email, let me take a look at your Facebook page. If you'll do all of the steps that we've outlined right to this point in this video, the district governor has authorized me to help you by funding your Facebook marketing campaign. That means paid marketing dollars from District 55 to drive members to your club. Facebook is a little bit like Big Brother. When you pay for marketing, you can pick demographics within three miles, within five miles, from ages 18 to 55, only retirees, only women with purple hair and blue eyes. Okay, not quite that specific, but you get my point. We can pick young professionals, business people, people that work and live in the circumference of your club, and we can invite them and advertise to them, which means even though nobody they know, or have ever heard of, or have ever met, happened to like your Facebook page, so the sharing wouldn't reach them, Facebook knows that they meet the demographics you've asked for and they market to them anyway. So even for a very small budget, just a few dollars a day, which we will happily pay for you if you do what we've asked, then you can drive traffic to your club through paid Facebook advertising courtesy of District 55. We're here to help you grow. We're here to help your clubs expand. We're here to help you have fun, engaging, interactive meetings. 
So if Facebook is something that interests you as a club officer, and you think that it might be a way that you could drive traffic to your club and improve the climate and bring in new blood, give me an email or give me a call. Again, my email is tmcrystaldyer at gmail.com. My cell phone, 254-291-7930. If you have any questions, you need any help, give me a ring or give me an email. That's what we're here for. Hope to see you on Facebook.